Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Watching Donald Trump depart to Walter Reed Hospital with the coronavirus, these staffers displayed a look that is completely new to this White House, vulnerability. This photo was taken by Alex Brandon for the AP. In the picture, we see White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany, third from the left, waiting with other staffers as the president prepares to helicopter to Walter Reed Medical Center after he tested positive for the coronavirus. The first thing I thought when I saw this photo with McEnany really smack in the center of it is the mask is slipping. The mask is literally slipping off her nose. By most accounts, this was the first moment that most White House staffers had, in fact, been seen wearing masks. And, you know, it's a kind of metaphor, perhaps, but you also have to recognize the real literal anxiety that's playing out in the body language of this group of people. Yeah, this is the rare photo of White House staffers wearing masks, and this is what it took to make it happen. We all know that the White House has relied on a less than reliable rapid testing system to protect them, and they've avoided masking and social distancing. Trump is averse to it. So one strange element of this photograph to me, but telling, is that they're not all wearing the same mask, the dark blue cloth branded with the White House logo, but in fact, looks like they kind of scrambled and grabbed what was at hand. So you have that version combined with the safer surgical kind. I just find this kind of ad hoc quality to that and the lack of uniformity really indicative. Just as that White House Rose Garden Amy Coney Barrett ceremony, the photographs of that have now taken on a very different set of meanings because that was a super spreader event. This photograph, too, in the context of McEnany, is important because she was briefing reporters. She knew at this point that she had been exposed by others in the White House and that she had been briefing media without a mask. And then after this photo and this moment, we learned that she herself had tested positive for coronavirus. So what we also have is a picture of somebody who perhaps knows or fears very legitimately that they themselves are infected. And so as you look around, around this image, you see that anxiety playing out in different ways. But it's a very defensive anxiety, right? Those crossed arms on these four kind of primary figures in the photograph. Yeah, it was probably a chilly afternoon, but you have to imagine there's much more behind those crossed arms than the weather. What we're seeing in this photograph is a lot of what might be familiar gestures that suddenly read a completely different way. Crossed arms in the White House and with anybody affiliated with Trump has typically read as defiance or resistance, and now it completely flips to fear and concern. Then there's another feature of the photograph. Everybody seems to be looking in a completely different direction. And can you imagine what is going on here with Trump helicoptering off to the hospital? I mean, this is a White House and an administration of one. So when you remove Trump, you have things being completely chaotic. That's backed up by reporting by Maggie Haberman, otherwise known as the White House Whisperer, who said that as soon as he took off, that place was in complete disarray. I think this photo can also be read in the context of some photos that were made after Trump went to Walter Reed that showed White House staffers sitting outside without masks. So you also have to look at this photograph and wonder the extent to which people really are trying to protect themselves and their coworkers. But then you also have to think about that notion of media scrutiny, right? And that if we're going to wear a mask, this would be the moment where we're going to do it publicly. It also reminds us of that scripted, what people are calling the Evita moment, where Trump returned to the White House and very prominently ripped off his mask. You know, dear leader has returned, so all his protection is going away again. 